Hello to all, let's discuss how can you customize the icons of Prime View. So Prime View actually internally uses the Prime icons, which is our own free to use open source UI icon library featuring more than 200 icons. But that's optional recently because we have switched to SVG format, inline SVG format of these icons and the components bundle them internally so that you don't need to download actually Prime icons from NPM anymore or import them because uh, you may want to optimize your bundle size. Uh, you may not use all the icons, so that's why we have went with this approach. But still, you may use uh, Prime icons or material icons, font as many icons that you like. So let's try to use uh, the material icons and try to customize it with um, a drop down. So here, the material icons can be imported. For the sake of simplest, I will just grab it from here and put it inside as a link tag. Okay, let's start it. And if you check out the drop down, you will see that there are some properties. I will just use the live versions while my local copy is being updated. So here, if you check out the API, there's an option to use drop down filter icon, but these are deprecated because these are kind of limiting because you will only be able to use it with strings like PI, P check something or phone thousand. What about the inline SVGs, images and so on, right? So the replacement is, although they will work for backward compatibility because we spend a lot of time on backward compatibility. So the replacement that we suggest is using the templating dropdown icon. So I hope that my copy is up. Okay. So, if you check out the material fonts, there's, there are fonts everywhere. Let's, for example, the face, face icon. There was a face icon somewhere, or maybe the person. That should be person. Okay. So, let's check out this. Let's check template. drop down icon and spam face and the drop down okay the face is here I mean you can use images as well there is in the data table filtering I think we had a sample about it where you can choose agents Avatars, so you can use an avatar is there as well to indicate that this drop down is trying something interesting. Okay, so select the city, and this is a material icon. I had an SVG somewhere. One second, here. Suppose that you have an inline SVG, you can also use it. And since you have access to the SVG internals, you can use colors to the paths and so on and it will be something like this and what about the prime icons for example you can use uh, what was it pi pi user yeah and now this is a prime icon as a font icon and they will all work as expected so uh, to sum up with the templating approach, you have now full control over the icons. The whole component suite provides template slots for customizing the icons. And that's the suggested way because uh, we, don't want the, we don't want the users to depend on a certain set of UI icons. You can, you'll be able to work with any icon set you can choose from. So that's it. And thank you for joining me on this one and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.